Welcome back, friends. Hey, as you read in the title, we're going to take a look at Grand Design's best-selling RV across all of their lines. It's the Transcend 265BH. Stay tuned. Okay, let's start with the numbers here. Unloaded vehicle weight, 6327. Uh, GVWR, that's as heavy as, should, as it should ever be, is 79.95. 658 pounds of hitch, 32 feet, nine inches total length, 62 gallons of fresh water, 78 gallons of gray, and 39 gallons of uh, wastewater. Wheel size is 15 inch. Let's take a look at the outside first. Okay, so if you're not familiar with Transcend, uh, they kind of took the sticking tin game to the next level a few years ago when they first came out. And they're just a quality unit. Uh, it's a nice entry level unit from Grand Design. Um, it's got a lot of nice features that uh, a lot of entry level units don't have. And this, uh, this siding is super, super uh, durable. It comes standard with solar which is basically unheard of at this price point. And yeah, nice big storage under here. Uh, you can see your solar controller right there. Uh, but yeah, here's your, your cable and satellite hookups, your GFCI, your battery switch, water, city, and fresh tank. Yeah, nice big under storage here, front pass-through storage. So these are stick and tin, as I mentioned. So you've got wood frames. Uh, there's advantages to that. Uh, there's a disadvantages to it just as well, just like everything. There's pros and cons to it. But yeah, there's also advantages to the stick and tin outer shell. Um, let's keep going, looking around. So you're going to get, uh, I'm going to look at this model next to us for the wheels. Right now you're getting Westlake with Steelys. Just kind of keeping it simple. But yeah, this is what you'll find on all of the transcend models just giving you a look around this 265 bh because this is i didn't realize this was the number one selling unit for grand design over all of their lines over all of their fifth wheels toy haulers everything this is the number one unit so as of early 2022 i should say so not ever but uh as far as 2022 is concerned this is their number one selling rig Big storage under here, underneath the bunks. You'll see those in just a minute. Prep for uh, backup camera. Spray port over here. Water fill right there. Yeah, I like the I like the colors. You know, the great thing about having a little bit of black and gray on the rig is if it does fade, it's still black and gray, or maybe gray and lighter gray. So it's a uh, it always going to look good. You know, some of those reds and greens and whatever, they turn into Easter egg colors after several years, but you're not going to get that here. Keeping it simple, aluminum steps here, aluminum steps up front. Uh, I like the lighter color steps, especially at night. Makes a big difference. Let's, uh, let's take a look inside. Okay, as we're stepping up, you can see why this is a great selling floor plan. It's super versatile. You got two big bunks immediately to your left as you walk in. This little sofa also folds into a bed. Tons of sleeping area in here, as you can already see. Little step ups here, hanging closet, hooks, little cubbies. Got drawers down there in those steps, not wasting any space. And like I said, you got these two, these two nice size bunks. These are full size bunks. You've got a USB over here, and they could sneak the cord in here and charge their electrical devices. Nice couch, and the couch looks to a swiveling TV. So, you know, if I'm sitting here, I'll sit on the couch for you. I could swivel that TV out and be face to face with it and not be straining my neck. Uh, you can also have everyone here at the dinette. It's a big dinette, actually. Um, can have everyone over here eating. This of course folds down into a bed as well and uh, adults could sleep here. Uh, one comfortably, two if you're really good friends. Nice big window here, here at the dinette. I like that window. 
I believe they're putting 12 volt fridges in this now. So, yeah, let's see here. I'm not gonna open that up. But, uh, yeah, here you go. Nice Furion fridge. Again, solar is standard. Nice drawer down there. There's your thermostat. And take a look at the kitchen. So entertainment area here. This is a ton of counter space right here. I mean, it's as big as my forearm. A lot of counter space. That's gonna make a big difference. Good place for coffee, maybe. Or cocktails. I'd say there's a good chance we would have the coffee maker over here. For your own stove. Nice big, that's a big drawer. All the way out. Good. Very cool. Glass front for your cabinets. Cabinets feel nice and solid. You know, I've been walking around Hershey all week, and uh, for as many comments as we get about, you know, COVID campers, this stuff's looked okay. I mean, I'm not. I hadn't seen anything really alarming. So this one feels good. Got your uh, shower here. Now you'll notice, you know, transcends entry level. So they don't spend extra money on shower heads. You know, this is a recreational tool. And, uh, but that shower head does just fine. And it's easy to upgrade anyway. Nice big bathroom, basically the same bathrooms as the Imagines, but no window here. Uh, there's pros and cons to that. You know, I like having a window there, but it's also a place for water to come in, so, you know. Same corner cabinets as the Imagines. Nice big hanging storage back here. Uh, residential queen. Let's see if I can turn a little light in here. There we go, a little bit better. Hanging storage there. Cubbies right there. I, I'd love to see drawers there, honestly. Because um, stuff can get slid way in the back. So, um... So yeah, the, I, this I actually like is that's open. So yeah, so the imagine this is this is closed with with cabinet doors. This is a drawer. Well, I I wish this was a drawer, but I like that this is open. I do prefer that actually, because we put like extra bedding up there, and we ended up having to stuff it in. And I mean, it would just be nice to fold it and just lay it up there. It'd be nice. Got some extra towel storage over here. Grand Design is known for that. Here's the business end. Yeah, you can kind of see what we're looking at here. We have a very unique floor plan, a very versatile floor plan. Uh, I'll make sure to mention, you now you've got storage under here. You've got storage under here. I thought that was a drawer, it got me. I like that. I like that it's not actually. It's funny how some places you want drawers and some places you're cool without them. So yeah, just give you one more final look. This video's ran long enough. I will put uh, more information on the 265BH Transcend Explore in the description box below. Uh, and yeah, ch check it out if you if you like it. It's definitely a versatile floor plan and uh, you can basically sleep an army. Hope you guys enjoyed and uh, as always, consider subscribing. See ya.